I'm tired. How's it going? Tim Sykes here. Today we're going to be talking about restricted versus unrestricted stock. It's annoying, but it's useful. So, uh, this is not a fun topic to talk about, but it's important that you understand restricted versus unrestricted stock. I'm just gonna do this with my eyes closed because that's, that's a good analogy. Um, you know, once you're good enough at this game, you can do it with your eyes closed. For me, I'm just tired. So we're gonna see if I can do a whole video lesson with my eyes closed. Leave a comment underneath. Should I do more video lessons with my eyes closed? Let's see. I do a lot of video lessons. This is a lot more comfortable. I feel like taking a nap. Um, but in this video, we're gonna be talking about restricted versus unrestricted uh, shares. Hi, my name is Tim Sykes. I'm a millionaire trader. And it's very important that you actually, I'm getting dizzy. Um, it's very important that you learn uh, restricted versus unrestricted. So restricted shares are um, shares that are owned by insiders, uh, either like big investors or corporate insiders like the management. Um, they cannot be sold very quickly. Uh, restricted shares have different time frames. You know, some of them are restricted from uh, being sold for like 12 months, 18 months, some are like 24, 36 months. There's different kinds of restricted shares. Um, but long story short, you need to understand Understand that a lot of uh, management, a lot of insiders, a lot of promoters get restricted stock. So when they're doing their pumping or hyping up of a stock, it doesn't matter how much the stock goes up in a day or two or even a month or two. They need to um, hype it up at a time where they can actually sell their shares. So it's interesting if you look at a lot of these pumps. Um, when someone gets restricted shares, like a lot of these penny stocks um, simply can't pay consultants or they can't pay employees money, so they give them restricted shares. And maybe the stock does nothing for like, you know, nine months. But when it comes up to the time when these restricted shares will be unrestricted, meaning they're able to be sold, in the uh, few days before they're able to be sold, you often see these pumps and the stocks will spike 10, 20, 30, 50%. Um, in a few days, or maybe even 100%, and then they'll just get crushed and drop 90% in a few days. And people will be like, but the news was good. Why did the stock drop? And it's because the news was manufactured by the company or the insiders or the investors. Somebody put all of this stuff out to lure people in to buy the stock right before they could actually dump it. Um, you know, if you have shares that are becoming unrestricted, you want the shares to be worth as much as possible. So this is how pump and dumps are created. Um, click the link just below. I'm gonna include a blog post that I wrote um, called The Real Reason Why This Stock Dropped 88% in Four Days. It's, it's an older blog post, but it's fascinating. And one of the investor relations from one of these pump and dumps was stupid enough to respond to an investor asking, like, why is the stock getting crushed? And the investor uh, relations person said, well, some of the original shareholders have begun divesting their shares when in reality they created a whole pump and dump campaign uh, for two weeks leading up to the date when those restricted shares can become unrestricted and that's why the stock crashed all in four days the and original investors weren't divesting their shares they were selling as much as they could it was a freaking fire sale and that's what penny stocks are this is why the whole world hates on penny stocks because they say this is these are all schemes yes they are schemes predictable schemes. Shh. Don't tell anybody what you're learning in this video lesson. Don't tell anybody what you're learning from me. Keep it to yourself and profit from it. Because if you understand how the game works, one, you can ride the pump up because you know that they're pumping it up for several days or several weeks in order to get the stock price up. Uh, two, you can try to short sell the stock when those shares become unrestricted. Uh, I think the, the ticker on that, that play in the blog post, again, click the, the link in the blog post just below. Um, I think the ticker was CELH. Um, I'm not 100% sure this was a few years ago, but I do remember looking for shares to short of this because when this, the investor relations said this on like a Yahoo 
Yahoo Finance message board, I was like, uh, this is the most you know, obvious thing. And I can't believe they just admitted it. Um, it was obviously like a newbie investor relations. You never talk about the game openly, but I tried to short it and there were no shares to short. Sometimes you can't short a stock. Um, there are no shares to short because anybody who knows the game wants to short it because when restricted shares become unrestricted, the stock crashes because all the insiders likely pile out, especially if it's a pump it up. That's today's lesson. Learn it, live it, love it. Hey, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there and also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge and become my next millionaire student.